Hundreds of people came together to honor our fallen soldiers at Oakwood Cemetery. It was the eighth annual Wreaths Across America Day. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman found out how much this event has changed over the years. Today, many of you here are veterans of wars and conflicts that America had to fight to protect the innocent and the oppressed. Hundreds joined together to honor those that serve our country and remember the fallen. To do so, family members and volunteers laid wreaths on veterans' graves at Oakwood Cemetery. Two of those graves belonged to Charlene Stell's parents. Dad was in World War II, and he was in the communications group. Mom was uh, worked on airplanes, so she was like a Rosie the Riveter. Stell says she cherishes this annual event as another way to honor them and everyone else who fought for our freedoms. It just means so much to me to see all of the people here, all of the children, because they're learning what it is and really what these people fought for to keep us free. Organizers say when they held the first ceremony eight years ago, they only had a dozen wreaths and a handful of attendees. The number of wreaths has grown to more than 1,300. To get it to grow, all you have to do is tell people about it. Once people understand what Wreaths Across America is, they want to do this. They want to come. She says it's also a great way to educate people about veterans and what they go through, along with their family members. Even if someone goes off to war and comes back, they're changed and their family is changed. Saying people need to know they have support. In Raleigh, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News. What a meaningful ceremony. Last year, nearly 1.8 million veteran wreaths were placed on headstones around the country.